Ever since the Nintendo Switch OLED was announced, I knew I wanted to get it. <laughs> and as you guys can tell from the title and thumbnail, the day has finally come and I could not be more excited. <laughs> If you're new here, hi, my name's Jess, aka Lakeavy, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. As you can tell, this video is going to be an unboxing video, and I will be unboxing the White Switch OLED, which honestly is such a refreshing color. I am so... well, I don't think white's actually color... you guys know what I mean. <laughs> But it just looks so refreshing, so sleek, and I'm so happy I managed to get the white OLED version. <laughs> Along with the unboxing of the Switch OLED, I do have a few more things I'll be opening and showing you guys as well. The first thing I got was this carrying case that came out at the same time as the Switch OLED, which I have right in front of me. And I only got it because I wasn't sure if my other cases would fit the OLED model because I know it's a little bit bigger so in case it doesn't I have a case that I can go in and be protected and I know that the case comes with a screen protector but upon research it is one of those flimsy screen protectors and I wanted a tempered glass one so the other thing I'll be opening and putting on the switch today is going to be this tempered glass screen protector for the OLED which I'm really happy I ended up getting because I'm not a fan of those flimsier screen protectors. I love my tempered glass ones a little bit more. <laughs> and then the last thing that I want to open up with you guys is another case, but that's a case that I bought that I don't know if the OLED is going to fit in, so I'm really not sure. If some of you are from my collection video, you'll have seen that I have this Pokemon carrying case, which I absolutely love. It is from Power A. I bought, because I found at my Walmart, another Pokemon one that is just so beautiful. I love it. <laughs> but it's this one. You can see a little Pikachu right here. <laughs> and I love it. But I have no idea if the OLED is going to fit in there. So some of you might be watching and be like, yes it will, or no it will not. At this current moment in time, I have no idea, so I'm going to be trying it out. <laughs> now enough with the long intro, <laughs> I will be switching the camera angle so that you guys can have a better view of the unboxing, so let's just get on with that. <laughs> so I've switched the camera angle, I do apologize if the audio is not the greatest, I am working with what I have. <laughs> in front of us here is the OLED switch, which I'm so excited to get into. <laughs> So let's just start the unboxing. Honestly, I kind of love how different the box looks compared to the sideways one. I kind of like this a lot. Also, this is what the back looks like in case some of you have never seen it. I'm going to try to prop it. And now to open the box. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm so, so pumped. Especially, I don't know if this will hold. I'm really... it's not looking like it's gonna hold. Okay, I think I got it. Especially the white Joy-Cons. So let's start by opening these. This is white Joy-Con number one. I do hope they eventually start selling them, kind of like how they did with the gray Joy-Cons and all the other Joy-Cons. I kind of really hope they sell these individually as well. So that was Joy-Con 1, which I'll just put to the side right here. And then Joy-Con number 2. I absolutely love the white and how simple it looks. It's just so pretty. I'll put Joy-Con number 2 right here. And now for what is essentially the upgrade in all of this. So this is the screen. I don't want to try to, I don't want to angle it a different way because I kind of don't want you guys to see my face. And this is the back with the new stand, which I'm really excited about because I never used the other one. It was way too flimsy. It is so pretty. I love the upgrades, honestly, with the screen, the bigger screen. 
Now I'm just gonna put the console itself right here. And we're gonna start looking into what else is in the box. So right under here, I can see some papers, which are not something I'm going to read. I'm just gonna leave those there. <laughs> All right, so let's look at the dock, which is another upgrade. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I love this. It looks so good. You can see dog hair. I apologize. It's not. It's on my own. I love this and I love the... Oh my goodness. I'm sorry guys. I'm actually so happy. And then behind this, how do you... Right here. Here you have your AC adapter, your HDMI port, and then the LAN port. All right here, tucked away behind this white plate right here. Which makes cable... Ah, dang it. <laughs> which makes cable management honestly so gorgeous with this little opening. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually so, so pumped about this. I love the dock. And then for what's left inside the box, we have some cables. So this would be the HDMI cable, which for now I think I'm gonna put back in the bag. I'll show you guys, but then I'll put them back in the bag just so I don't get them lost. We also have the charging cable. And then this is, I'm assuming the, yep, the Joy-Con grip. I have two of these already, so I might just leave this one tucked away in the box in case I need it one day. And then we also have, oh, 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 but I love this. I never noticed this before, but the little details. Kind of like with the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword Joy-Cons where the strap is different. Usually you see the strap be only black, but because of the white Joy-Cons, it has little white accents in there. I never noticed this before. I love this! This is going to make them so easily identifiable in a way. I, kinda, um, I actually love this. That was all that was in the box. Now I'll clean all of this up so that we can get a better look at the console. I've now cleaned everything up, so I'll just put the Joy-Cons... ...on the Switch like so. Okay, I seriously love this. I can tell it's a little bit heavier. I love this, and it looks so good right now just with the whole background. I love it! Before I do anything, I'm actually gonna go put the screen protector off camera because every time I try to do these on camera, I mess them up so bad, so I'd rather concentrate, put it on, and then come back so we can open the console up. Just to show you guys once again, this is the screen protector I got, and it is from Jet Tech. And I'll open it just to show you guys the inside. If I can get it to open. This is the inside, and then this is everything that it comes with. And here is, so there are two screen protectors, so in one pack there are two. So I finished putting it on and if you guys can tell, I've messed it up. I think I mess up all of my screen protectors, honestly. There hasn't really been any that I have not messed up. Not the greatest at that. <laughs> and just because I wanted to show you guys, I want to see what it looks like on the dock. It looks so good. Now the last step is setting it up, but honestly it's going to be a very long process, so I think I'll do this off camera. So the next thing I wanted to do with you guys is to open the, the carrying cases and see which ones fit better and which ones look better. This is the first case I want to open with you guys. I've already removed the stickers, I just did, and I... oh well. And now to open it. 
So we all know this one is most definitely going to fit. But I still wanted to check it out with you guys. So this would be the screen protector and this is what I mean by flimsy is shoo. Not the type I prefer. Time for the carrying case itself. This is it. It is not the hardest or most protective, but in the meantime, if my other cases don't fit, it'll be good to keep it safe. This is what the inside looks like. You have room for some games, and then you also have a little pocket. So like I said, not the most protective, but a good backup if needed. But now since I have it out, I do want to check something. There does seem to be a slight difference. But I feel like it should be fine. I hope so. It would look so good. I feel like, oh, it's a perfect. Here it is in all its glory. It is seriously so, so pretty. I love it. As for the inside, oh, it's white right here. And the details. That looks so good. And then I'm pretty sure this is for a switch light, which I always remove this. One of my favorite things about these types of cases is the fact that it's a Velcro hold and then this pocket. I love when cases have zipped pockets. Got the little Pokeball. And now for the true test. We all know the other one's going to fit, but it's this one. I'm going to move this stand so I can back up the case so you guys can see. So here you have it. It is more of a snug fit because it is bigger, so it does fit a little bit more tight, but it does fit. It is perfect. We all know I'm not going to use the other one. So I think we know which case I'm going to go for. It fits. Oh my gosh. I'm so, so happy. My other Switch has a Pokemon case, and now so does this one. It's so perfect. It's perfect. I absolutely am so happy and I love it. It's so pretty. And I'm so happy it fits in this case. I feel like it just matches it so, so well. I love it. <laughs> At first, I did want to set up the switch with you guys, but then I realized that it was going to take a while. My battery is about to run out and then I don't have a lot of space left on my SD card. So I'm just going to opt to do that by myself after this video is done filming. All in all, I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know a lot of people had commented they wanted to see me open a Switch OLED. And I promise you I have been waiting for this moment. <laughs> With that, I hope you guys found this video enjoyable and that it was right up your alley and, and that this unboxing was fun for you guys to watch. That maybe the Pokemon case interests you guys. It is from Power A, so I'm pretty sure you could find it on Amazon. I found it on my local Walmart. All in all, that was all for today's video. Thank you all so, so much for the love and support recently. I'm so happy and thankful for each and every one of you and I love you all so, so much. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to leave a like, a comment, or subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya!